Hey, what's up everybody? Here's my second Let's Play video. Tonight we're doing Sonic 2 for iOS. So here we go, let's do a new game. And we're gonna have Sonic and Tails. This is just the traditional version of Sonic 2. I used to play this game all the time on Genesis. So we're just gonna play through it a little bit. Emerald Hill, Zone 1. And I'm not really going for best time or best score or anything. I'm just gonna be playing. Just casually, just going through the levels. The speed thing. Don't need that because I already have a bubble. So I think this is definitely by far the best uh, Sonic game. Sonic 1 does not have the, uh, the down B option like I'm doing right now to, to go super fast. And. The 3D ones, 3D ones are just not fun, in my opinion. That means I gotta continue. I think this is actually one of the first like video games that my family owned because um, the Genesis was like the first system that we owned and Sonic 2 was like the Sonic 2 was actually the only video game we owned for the Genesis we used to um, go to this store called Hills and rent Sega Genesis games all the time but um Sonic 2 came with the system, and we just never bought any. This is Mr. Eggman, or some call Mr. Robotnik, I think. When you jump on this, these are all the animals that we freed. He turns these little animals into like the the villains, and then when you hop on them, they turn back. Another well, continue. I'm not, I'm not really sure what Eggman's goal is. Like, it, is he trying to take over the world? Because if he wants money, why doesn't he just sell these floating things? Like, the technology to go with these floating things. He could become a trillionaire if he just sold the tech for these floating devices. This, this level is kind of confusing because there's, like, multiple uh, directions you can go and sometimes you go forward and sometimes you go backwards so this gets a little confusing oops I'm not doing great <laughs> see so, yeah, I grew up with the Genesis and I grew up playing with a physical controller. It's a little bit harder on um, iOS because it's like fake buttons. You don't really, really, you don't feel down. You don't really feel it when you're pressing down on the buttons. I think this is the ending right here.
they give you a time limit of 10 minutes, but unless you're really just messing around, it's hard to uh, run out of time. Just extra life up here. You can see that I'm really using iOS because there's an email. In the Genesis version, there's this um, add on where you can play as Knuckles. It's really neat that, like, the add-on is a separate cartridge, and then the Sonic 2 cartridge goes inside of it. Um, it's, I mean, it's hard to explain, but if you Google that, it's pretty neat how the Knuckles add-on works. And Knuckles can, like, fly, but he still works in the same levels, though. So it's like, they must have designed him at the same... Oh, I just died. They must have designed them at the same time, both games. Because there are like hidden, you know, hidden objects that only Knuckles can get to. It's like physically impossible for Sonic to get to. Yeah, Knuckles can fly and climb up walls. Do the screen recording. I have like a lightning cable. Hope I don't drown. Uh, I have a lightning cable sticking out of the side of the the iPhone, which also makes it a little bit annoying playing this. So I have to hold my hand in a different like position so I can do the screen recording. I was just saying that it's harder to play this on iOS, but in some ways it's actually easier because the physical Genesis controller used to always like stick, at least the one we had. The buttons would actually stick together kind of and not always work properly. So at least in that way, iOS is a little bit easier. Oh, okay. Because I spent so much time playing this game on Genesis, uh, I've actually noticed that they've changed a few things while transferring it over to iOS. Because the Genesis version was 4x3 aspect ratio. Like it was like a almost a square. And now for iOS they made it they made it uh, widescreen. Because the, the iPhone is widescreen. But they had to change a few things to get that right. Like some of the boss levels. At, at the end of this boss level, there's like pillars you jump on. And they had to move them further to the left and right to get it to work with widescreen. But it, those changes they made changed some of the dynamics of uh, the game. These things are so annoying because you have to like memorize where they are. 
There's one right in front of me. If I didn't know that, I would have just walked right into it. I think all these enemies have specific names that, like, really hardcore Sonic fans are aware of, but I don't know any of their names. Or... I think Sonic also has a lot of friends. Like, there's a whole Sonic show, and he has a lot of friends. I don't know any of their names, except for Tails and Knuckles. One other continue. Do you see these leaves that go in front of Sonic? A few spots in this level? I think those were also added after the fact. I don't think those were in the original game. See, there's like leaves in front of stuff. So this is the only... right there is another example. See? There's leaves in front of Sonic. wonder how far I can jump. Oops. Have to land it just right. To go as far as possible. Yeah, it could have been better. Oh well. Um, so I was saying, Sonic 2 was the only Genesis game that we owned, but we always rented games from the store Hills, which doesn't exist anymore. Oh, this is what I was talking about. Because it's widescreen, you used to be able to jump and always hit Eggman, but because the pillars are further apart now, you cannot always hit him, I don't think. See, I, if it was not widescreen, I would have been able to hit him just now. So I'm fine with them changing it to widescreen, except except when it changes like the actual gameplay and actual dynamics of the game. Yeah, I think all the bosses are pretty easy, except the final one is a little difficult. Like. Oops. <laughs> Knock on wood. I might just say that and die right away after saying how easy the boss is on. Oops. I'm actually doing pretty bad. <laughs> Okay, so what I was saying, Sonic 2 was the only Genesis game that we owned. We always went to hit the store hills and rented the games. It's sort of like a blockbuster. Um, and one of my favorites was X-Men. I think it was X-Men 2. And like I probably rented that like 10 or 12 times or something. And uh, probably spent more money renting that than I did if I had just bought in the game. This is a cool level. It's like a casino, obviously. And the cool thing about that X-Men game I was just talking about was there was no menu at all. Uh, so when you started up the console with the game in it, it just went straight into gameplay. 
but you can select different characters by restarting the entire console. I thought that was a really cool thing. You can imagine having to turn the iPhone on and off to select the characters instead of just using a menu. Yeah, it's interesting that you can actually, like, gamble for coins in this level. They probably wouldn't allow that today, because it'd be, like... Considered a bad influence telling kids to gamble, but they let it happen back then. Another continue. I doubt I'm gonna ever need any of those continues, though. So I'm gonna show you that in this level, you can basically get an infinite amount of lives. Because in this level, there's an easy spot to get extra lives. Here, I'll just show you right here. If you just keep playing this enough times, eventually you're gonna get two lives. So you can just keep playing this and then die and get two more lives and die and get two more lives and die and get two more lives and die. If you get enough free time, you can just go on and on forever, basically. I've always wondered what the pattern is for this. Like the, I don't know. Is there a way for them to do a completely random pick of this? Or wouldn't it have to be based on something? Like, like there's really no such thing as a, as a truly random number. Uh, uh, from a computer's point of view. It might... The... The results of this must be based on the time or your score or something. I think one time I did get three jackpots in a row. <laughs> Good thing is you cannot die. Even if you have no coins and you get three Eggmen, you don't die. Not, not my lucky day, apparently. There's also a thing up here where you can get tons and tons of... Uh, points. I'll show you, I guess. Go over here. Go over here. Go up here. Get a running start. Jump. And if you go down here, you can get a ton of points right away. If you get uh, tails in there with you, you get double the points also. I think if you get a certain number of points, you also get an extra life. So it's like another little bonus. If you just kept playing this level over and over again, you get tons of uh, extra lives. Dang, this is not my lucky day.
I'm just gonna keep going so I'll get at least one jackpot. There we go. An extra life. Alright, I'm gonna find the other eight coins, hopefully. See, I got another extra life because I got 200 points. 200 uh, rings. Some of the other games I spent a ton of time playing were uh, Mario 64, Nintendo 64. And Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, and Pro Skater 2, and Pro Skater 3, and Grand Theft Auto, like, all of them. Like, I remember, I'm, I'm like a hipster because I played uh, Grand Theft Auto before it was cool. Like, I played uh, GTA 1 and GTA 2 when they were two, still 2D. Sucks I just lost 200 coins. Uh-oh. <laughs> hope, I, I hope I don't die. There's no coins, no rings left. Okay, good. This is actually kind of a fun thing. You can go pretty quickly here. Bounce off this. I also played a lot of Roller Coaster Tycoon on the PC and The Sims, like a bunch of different of them. At the top. And I played a ton of this game OMG Pop. Uh, the game Balloon or the company OMG Pop which no longer exists because that website shut down. Um, OMG Pop made the game Draw Something, which became really popular, and they were bought by a different company, like Zynga or something, and uh, Zynga just shut them down. But before, again, before they were popular, I played them a ton. I was like an expert Balloono player. And that was back at the time where I was actually making money with apps and doing pretty well financially. So, I'm kind of embarrassed to admit this, but I think I spent like $100 on that website buying their virtual stuff. Yeah, OMG Pop had a game that was very similar to Mario Kart, and a game that was very similar to Bomberman. And... I spent way too much time playing those games. What games did you guys spend the most time playing? Leave a comment, let me know. A couple years ago I made a video talking about how, like, 
video games are bad for people. And I kind of still stand by that. Like... They are kind of just a waste of time. But at the same time... Everything kind of is. So wh why should I just target them? And it's like the idea of a waste of time is so subjective. Like, if you're having fun, is it a waste of time? It's kind of debatable. There's a bunch of lava at the bottom of this. Let me just get out of here. I'm kind of just... Sp this is a stupid trap. I mean, it's a super annoying trap that I used to get stuck in all the time when I was younger. Just once you hit one of these, you just get, like, stuck. Here's a little thing. If you fall down here, I think there's an extra life down here. Then you can just go all the way over to the end. And yeah, I lost all my coins, but <clears throat> I got an extra life. It saved a bunch of time <laughs> riding those. I hope at some point I can show you a continue level. <laughs> I think if you have enough if you have enough coins, you get this bonus stage. Which we need to show you, but I I think we're like halfway done. I think this is like halfway through the game so far. These things do not care about your bubble. A, bur a bubble usually protects you, but not against those things that smash down. This is another example of one where, like, of a level where. You can get lost because you sort of have to go back and forth. It's not just straightforward through the whole level. So what are you guys up to? The new iPhone just came out. Um, it's got like a weird shaped screen. I wonder what this game would look like on that screen. Like, would the camera bump be blocking part of the, the game right now if I, if I was playing on the iPhone 10? Or is the gameplay just inside of like the center of the screen. Here's the end. Yeah, because they were, at the Apple keynote, they were showing videos of them playing videos on the iPhone 10, And, like, parts of the video were cut off in the corners and, and the, around the camera. I think that's bad. I don't like that. I hope there's, like, an option to just play the video in the center of the screen. I don't think... Because I know it's only a tiny part of the screen, but what if there's like... What if you're watching a movie and there's a part of the story that's... Just in that part? Okay, okay, here's a bonus level. 
I'm not that great at the bonus level. I usually just avoid them. But here we go. This seems way smoother than the Genesis version. They must have just completely redone this part of the game. And the more of these bonus levels you go through, the harder they become. See those little bombs or whatever those are? There are more and more of those in the harder levels the further you go into the game. You can spin all the way around. This was like a very three-dimensional, you know, game for the Genesis. In the older systems, they're usually just flat games. This, like, this one was very 3D, but I, I, I wasn't very good at this, these bonus levels, but I did visually love them. Like, I was re always really impressed by how they looked, at least. An easy way to tell how good a game is, or at least one of the ways, is just by the music. Like you can tell that they put a lot of time into this game because it has its own unique soundtrack, and each level has its own song and music. Um, like a lot of the, I think some of the games for Genesis just didn't have music, or it would be the same song for every level, and stuff like that. But it's not just a random song, like each each song and soundtrack they have goes along with the level. Alright, I think the boss is coming up here. This boss is another level, another example of something they changed. See his, like, spike thing? See how smooth it turns? That spike was no, nowhere near as smooth in the Genesis version. Like, it, it's, I think it's a keyframe animation now, and it was just, like, you know, a single movement in the past. Doesn't that sound like oily oil music? Like this music wouldn't sound like it matched on the hilltop zone. They also changed the controllers a little bit. On the Genesis they have like an A and B and C button I think. And this is just, like, a single button. There's also a version of this where you can play as just uh, Knuckles. And you can also fly around.
a, a Golden Eye for the N64 is another game. I spent a ton of time playing. I think, <clears throat> like, like every kid, every male kid around my age spent a ton of time playing Golden Eye. And it was kind of different back then because everyone would like go to each other's houses to do the multi-level for Goldeneye. Um, I feel like now it would all just be, or not all kids, but a lot of the kids would just be like over the internet playing um, games like that. Commander Keen is another game I spent a ton of time playing, <laughs> which was like, I think that was for like Windows 3.1 or something, maybe Windows 98, that's a really old game. Yeah, I can't really put my finger on exactly why the new Sonic games are are uh, not as good. But I think it's just a lot more, like, automatic. Like, sometimes in the new Sonic games, you start going super, super fast, and you're not even controlling it. There are some times where that happens in this game, but a lot less, uh, a lot less often than the new one. This is like a hidden spot, I don't know if you noticed that. Okay, I need to get this checkpoint because the boss is coming up right here. And if, if, it's, if I die, I want to make sure I go back to that checkpoint. If you go in that oil, you actually don't drown. Um, you just get kind of stuck, and it's like difficult to get out of it. This is another one where I think it's actually easier because of the widescreen. Because you have more room to go to the left and right to avoid that laser guy. Uh-oh. 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 See, if it was full screen, I would be standing, like, here, because it's widescreen, I can go over here, and I have more time to react. Oops. Should kill him now, yep. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I can still die. Alright, good, good. Yeah, this is a lot more interesting than, uh, Virtual Rocket. <laughs> The last time I did a, a gameplay video, I did Virtual Rocket, and it's like the same thing over and over and over again. And it's nice, that, it's nice that there's little breaks at the end of each game where I can actually think and talk. With Virtual Rocket, it's like non-stop uh, focusing on just the game. I hate these spike things. I think with this one, in the first few levels, there's just round, like, zone 1 and zone 2. I think this one actually has a zone 3. Oops. It is pretty impressive just how, like, smooth the gameplay is, considering how old the system is.
Like, it seems like now they probably spend a ton of time designing the levels and gameplay. And don't put much, don't put a ton of thought into like how the system will be able to handle the, uh, the graphics and stuff like that. But in this game, I'm sure a ton of thought went into like if their ideas were even possible or not. Just assuming, I don't know. part in this level where like I think it's in zone 3 of this level there's a part where you can fall just forever <laughs> um <laughs> like you could leave the system running for an hour and just fall the entire time I'm not entirely sure where I'm supposed to be going right now. Uh-oh. Uh okay, one coin. Maybe, Maybe that was the spot where you can fall forever. I'm not really sure how I did that. I'm not really sure how this this level is even mapped out, but made it to the end. Sonic holding up the two fingers, just like Ghostbusters 2. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Skip the bonus level there. I remember being a kid and <laughs> whenever we were playing against each other, like especially me and my brother, <laughs> I remember I was always a bad sport. Like anytime I was losing, <laughs> I would just hit the reset button on the system. to the far right below me right now is an extra life, but I'm not 100% sure I'm not going to risk it. And that's another thing that I love about the game, is just how much um, like hidden stuff there is. I was playing the, the new Mario game for a little bit. I just didn't feel like there was much hidden stuff, if you know what I mean. Like, no, nothing really is that surprising. Um, maybe it's just because I didn't play it long enough to discover it. But that's how it felt to me.
Did you guys see that Jerry Drinks Water was suspended from uh, YouTube? That sucks. I hope he gets his uh, channel back. I, I still haven't gotten my channels back. Um, I, every, about once a week, I keep appealing it. And YouTube keeps rejecting my appeal to get them unsuspended. And yes, I could just make a new channel and upload all the old videos, but then all the uh, you know, comments are gone, all the views are gone, and they go, the, a reason the videos got views is because they had views and showed up in people's recommended videos, and if I just re-uploaded them, they wouldn't have the views and they wouldn't be recommended by YouTube as much. Like, I'm still actually making videos for some of those channels. Like, John Eats Carrots, I've still actually been shooting episodes for that. Because I've been eating carrots still. Sometimes. Oops. John brushes his teeth. Like, I shot an episode for that yesterday because I was brushing my teeth. So if I do ever get them back, I'll have a bunch of new episodes to upload. Chess and Monopoly are actually games I've also spent a ton of time playing on um, I guess on the computer. Chess would be a good one to a let's play of. Like against strangers online. Sometimes I go to, like, there's this local group, every Friday they play video, they play uh, board games with each other, every Friday. And they're, um, they usually play, like, really weird games. They, they call them Euro games. And it's, uh-oh, this screw is gone. So I have to go back over here and hope it comes back. Good, it came back. So they have this group every Friday, they play Euro games. And most of the people there, <laughs> like, hate Monopoly. They, um... I don't know, they act like it's just a game of luck and there's no skill to it. I kind of disagree. Oh shoot! I just fell again. Oh good, the thing is right here. I hope when I go to the top, I hope that other screw is not still there, because that might squish me. So they don't like Monopoly. They act like it's just a game of luck. But I disagree because you have to know. Like, when to mortgage properties, you have to know uh, when to buy properties, just e everything. Like, this guy is defenseless up here. See this bad guy? Like, he doesn't have anything to protect himself with. He already used his weapon. Uh, I guess I was wrong. <laughs> Somehow, his weapon was gone and he still got me. Boss, just bouncing balls, I think. Yep. It's kind of cheap how you can just always get a, a ring back. Like, 
Seems like there should be some kind of limit to that. This boss actually gets easier the further you go. It'd make more sense if you got harder somehow. The more you want. Three is over. This, it seems unnecessary. It seems like they only need two acts for this. Just, it's kind of repetitive. I'm not sure why they even have acts at all. Why not just make it one big level? This is nice how it's something different. Like, the game does get a little bit repetitive, but it's nice this level is like completely different. That's a like a bullet. See how slow that's going? That's actually like a bullet shot out of these guys. The slowest bullet in the world. Like, what's up with Mr. Robotnik? Seriously. Like, I don't get it. He's pretty bad at killing people, like... You know, instead of Mr. Robotnik spreading out the the enemies, like, equally throughout the level, why not just put all the enemies in, in one big chunk to get Sonic all at once? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> And see all the animals? Like, I'm saving the animals, but they just fall into the sky. I'm guessing I'm not really saving these animals. If the fall is big enough to kill Sonic, like... <laughs> these animals I'm saving are just falling to their death. Took a little shortcut there. I wanted you to take a much longer route. Up here is just, I think it was an extra life up here. Which I don't even need, but I'm just getting it for the fun of it. I think if you bump this, you can make it fall. No, I messed up, actually. But I think if you bump it from the bottom, you could have made it fall. I'm talking about. I bumped into it and it like fell down. Why does Mr. Robotnik time it out so those all go sequentially? Why not have them all fall down at the same time? Like, how is Mr. Robotnik so smart that he can design all this stuff, but so stupid that 
he doesn't make it actually deadly. And why does he even have a, pro a problem with Sonic to begin with? What did Sonic ever do to Mr. Botany? There's a like a bonus down here, an extra life or something. I think I might just end up killing myself. Yep, I got an extra life. But the question is, how do I get back? Yeah, that was pretty sweet. See, like I was talking about, like, hidden things. Like, the only reason I know about that is because I've spent so much time playing this game. For most of these bosses, the key is just to be patient. You know, when I was younger, I'd always just attack and... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, good. I got one coin. Uh-oh. I don't have any coins. Holy crap. Okay, good, good. But yeah, like I was saying, I would always just attack them all at once. The key is just to be patient about it. I think there's an extra life over here. Yep. Okay, now I think this is the final boss coming up. The final, final boss. And it doesn't matter that I don't have any coins now. Because I think with this final boss, one of the things that makes it so hard is you don't have any coins. Like, even if I had coins now, they would go away for this final boss. Okay, come on. Get the final boss coming up. See, I told you, this final boss is, might take me a long time. One, two, three. Boom. Oh, crap. Does he go straight or does he jump? Does he go straight or does he jump? Okay, okay. And look how look how fast Eggman runs up here. Sonic is supposed to be the fastest in the universe, yet somehow Eggman can just outrun him. Another thing that makes it difficult is because if you die here, you have to go back and uh, kill that other guy again. Like I was saying, the key here is just patience, really. If I attack him right now, I would die, but if I attack him now, I'm good. Like, shoots out his arms, shoots out his arms. He goes back up. Oh, okay. Freak. Dang it. <laughs> okay. I need some coins. One, two, three. And 
too. I could have got him there. I could have got him there too. Dang it. Does he jump or does he go? Okay, he jumps. Okay. Does he jump or does he go straight? Go straight. I hit his spikes and I died. Dang it. You need to take like a couple steps forward. One, two, three. Maybe I got him four times. One, two. Ooh, that was quick. Okay, good. I got him good that time. But again, look how fast Eggman runs. Sonic is supposed to be the fastest in the universe. Like he's, he's on his feet. Like, he's not even in a machine. Eggman on it. He's like a big fat guy, and he's like outrunning the fastest thing in the universe. Yeah, this level takes an overly long amount of time. Oh, freak! Dang it! One, two, three, four. All right, you can get it, you can do it four times there. One, two, jumps, get him, he goes straight this time. Good. Doesn't even matter that I'm going fast, he's going to outrun me no matter how fast I go. That animation they just did where the helmet closes, I think that's also updated in um, in the iOS version. I think some of this this bad guy's animations are a lot more smooth. I think you can also get him while he goes down. Yeah, there. Okay. If I keep doing that, I might speed it up a little bit. If I also, like, hit him while he's going down to the ground. Can't reach me. He's smart enough to come up with this giant robot machine. He's not smart enough to make the arms wrong, long enough to um, reach the length of the whole room. Why not just use a... He was using a gun before. Why not just use a big gun now? Okay, good. We won. I think we beat the game. 
This is all just animated. I'm not controlling this. Ooh, we did it. We won. Like an hour and five minutes. Another difference between the iOS and Genesis version is you can pause the iOS version and go do other stuff. With the Genesis version, there was no way to save the game. So it's like... I don't know, if you turn off the system, it's gone. To start from round one. So now I have this this false sense of accomplishment. You know, I won this game, nothing in my life is different, but I feel like I accomplished something. I think that's one of the bad things about video games. Sonic 2. And credits. Did they, did they make credits even for the... I mean, did they make music even for the credits? Where is this? No, they're recycling music. This is from... Um... Yeah, they're just recycling the music from their weekly rounds. This guy's name is... Yuji. Gucci. Trendy. I wonder how many of these people are still alive and still play this game. Tim Skelly. I bet bullies called him Tim Smelly. Copyright 1992. Shiki. Ushiki Uka. Well, these guys have the same last name. I wonder if they're brothers or siblings. And I mean, the cool thing about these old games is just how groundbreaking they were. Like, most new games are some way inspired by... Try again. No, not now. They're, like, inspired by other games. But this, they're, like, you know, sort of starting from scratch. Didn't I kill you, Mr. Eggman? Why are you still alive? Well, there you go. Thanks for watching, everyone.